Okay, we're back again. And now I have this TV tuned to channel 33 because down here on the floor, underneath it, I have another modulator. This is the third one with the uh, little amplifier antenna on it. And this one is tuned to channel 33. And this box up here, well, right now it's unplugged because when this box is plugged in, I have a hard time getting channel 62. There's a lot of interference that comes in when I have this box plugged in and it's tuned to 62. So that's why I unplugged it for demonstration purposes of the last analog channel in the area. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the uh, box back in. Here's the plug. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and turn this on. And we're going to tune it to channel 7 because 7 is 33 in this area. Okay. Now it's on 7. And there's 33, like as though it's off the air. But watch what happens when I turn this on. Now there's channel 33. And it simulates like as though it never went off the air in the analog style. Because if you look down here, there's the 33 logo. And just to prove it to you, we'll go up and down the spectrum. And there's 33. So there you are. And what we'll do now is we'll go around and turn each of the other ones on and then show you the result on how all of these little transmitters in your home can simulate a miniature analog broadcast of different channels that you like to watch on old televisions. Okay, we're at the RCA Big TV, and this modulator is tuned to channel 23, so we're going to go ahead and power it. And there, as you can see, it's coming in. Now, the unfortunate thing is about these other modulators, these here, the station drifts when you turn it off and then it has to tune itself back in when you turn it on but there's channel 23 and if we go here in this room to this TV I'll show you where we are so far there's 31 oops wrong knob there's 33 And there's 23. So, as you can see, we're starting to get more of the analogs back. And now, we'll go downstairs and turn four more modulators on. Okay, here we are at the four modulators. And we're just going to go ahead and turn these on, one by one. We're not going to demonstrate on this TV because there's no reason to. Okay, we got those turned on. And now, we'll go down here into the shop. And we'll turn these two on. This one's on 29. This one's on 18, or 16. The other four, they were tuned to channel 14, 18, 21, and 27. And now, let's see. How about if we do this? Let me, let me hook up the other camera. And 
then we'll run I'll run a tape in there and then we'll activate this modulator and then I'll take you back up to the two analog TVs upstairs and show you the full results okay I got the uh, last modulator turned on unfortunately I couldn't put the tape on because the battery is charging and I didn't want to interrupt the charge but I just wanted to show you how the uh, the blank signal looks when you tune into the channel I ended up putting that last one on 43 so now here's the results of what we have with all of that turned on this is 31 there's 33. Okay, the blank one is 43. Now we'll go down because there's nothing past that, and you know about 62. Okay, there's 29, 27. And notice how that one's kind of weak. So you c so you can now realize that the uh, the signal would not carry outside the house. Oh, we forgot to activate 25, because there's one for 25. But there's 23, which we've activated before. Uh, there's 21, but there's nothing coming through that one. There's 18, that's coming from one of the DVD players. There's 16. And there's 14. So as you can see, they're all coming in and it looks like now there's about 12 or 13 analog channels present. But remember, it's just here in the house. It's not outside or anywhere else. And just to show you the results from another location, we'll go back to the Hitachi TV. Okay, here we are back at the Hitachi TV, and we're just going to do a quick run through. We were on channel 33. And there's 43, and notice how that's looking very weak, even though there is no actual video signal. You can tell that the back background is very snowy, so that just shows you how, how very, very limited these, these uh, carry. 33 again, 31, 29, 27, 25 we didn't activate, but that one would exist too. There's 23, there's 21, I'm still not sure what went wrong with that one. There's 18, that's the DVD. There's 16, and 16 I think I'm going to have to fine-tune it because it's not coming in right on this TV. And then there's 14. So now it looks like, as I said, there's a bunch of analog channels. And for in the house, that really makes it nice because for me especially, like when I'm working on a project, I can actually go to another room sit comfortably and watch the uh, the video project or or the uh, the movie that I'd like to watch on a DVD or tape uh, comfortably you know I wouldn't have to you know move anything around everything can stay where it is and just view it remotely so that's the simulation of analog broadcast with the updated equipment. Now remember, you have to definitely apply with the FCC rules. So as soon as I'm done with this demonstration, all of these are turning back off. They're going to be turned back off to prevent any illegal uh, transmission of, of signals that shouldn't be transmitted. So I hope you enjoyed this and looking forward to making more videos for you real soon. Music Man 0150 signing off, wishing you a very pleasant day.